Well, today is day one of the film festival, day two of us being here, and I'm uber excited. Y'all already see, like, Crystal's, Crystal's on her Hollywood already. <laughs> she put the piss on. She make an impact right now. Um, I'm gonna hold her back because I look like her assistant, because what? the girl got it going on right now, and I'm just, you know, repping with the jeans situation, but whatever. The differences between me and her. You see it now. But I am so I'm excited. Repping. You're repping. In pursuit of destiny. Yeah. You're repping. You're making a scene. And I'm making a scene. You will not be missed. You're making a good scene. Because, I mean, yellow is like popping. Yellow is like loud. Look at me now. I think of red when I think of loud. Look at me now. Ah, See, red is my favorite color. So, I don't know. It's just a regular day with red. Oh, man, I should put my red shades on. See? I mean, I got on red now. Like, I ain't popping like her, but, like, whatever, because it's all good. I am so excited, though. It's like, if I was to describe the feeling that I'm feeling right now, it would be like the first day of school. First day of school at a new school that you know nobody at, but you're going there with your sibling. I'm going there with my wife, so I'm not by myself. That was the point of what I was saying. Anyway, I'm excited, like... I got butterflies in my system, but I know that even though I don't know these people right now, when they get to know me, they're going to love me. And we're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good conversation. And we're going to have good feedback. And we're just going to have a good time getting to know people here in Vegas that are in the film world and people that come from all over, like us, from Tampa. So, without further ado, we're going to take y'all on this voyage with us to the Black film wait wait to the las vegas black film festival i hope i said it right if not i'll figure it out when i see the paper but either way come with us <laughs> festival day one of the film festival where our film was actually shown and i mean it was awesome it was awesome i didn't imagine the film looking like that on the big screen um you know we've seen it on televisions and phones and laptops and computers but never on the big screen like we made it to the theaters i know that's so exciting like how did that hit you when you saw the film on the big big screen i was like whoa my movie's on the big screen. And I was like, I was like thinking in myself, I had a reminder, so I was like, that's a major accomplishment. Like, yeah. so many people write movies or film movies that are never seen anywhere other than a laptop, mm -hmm. a computer screen, wait, that's a laptop, um, a cell phone, whatever. And that's not to diminish that accomplishment, mm -hmm. but it's definitely a major accomplishment to see a film that we did even especially it being the first film that we did on a big screen the big screen and other people watching it that literally have never met us before um and in film festivals basically you see titles you kind of know different things about movies and you get to see if you want to stay and watch or whatever and there were people that chose to watch our film and so that was really cool. And they had questions. Like, not only did they watch the film, but after the film, 
aired and showed, they had questions. And even to that, not even every film had the number of questions that we had. Uh, not to compare, but just to say how interested people were in our short short. We were the shortest one of today. Um, I didn't look at the schedule for Saturday excuse me, Friday and Saturday, but even in our three-minute segment, if you will, there were so many questions, and they were intrigued by what we did and even asking for an extended version, and we were pleased to say, yes, we did shoot an extended version. We just finished on Sunday. Shout out to you, David, and the crew, uh, but then they were even asking for a feature length of the pollination. Yeah, they kind of so. shut down the <laughs> like, extended wow. short. I was like, yeah, we just did um, rap filming a 25-minute version. They are like, yeah, but a feature length. Right. Like, do you have a feature length? And I was like, I actually did write a feature length version. They were like, we want to know more about that. I was like, right. every time I think I'm done with this movie, it comes back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, the growth of the pollination. <laughs> But it's fun and it's cool and I was really excited because the woman that's over the festival, um, she took us out to do another interview with us and um, after even doing that interview, she was like, hey, let me get your information because I want to stay in contact with you and that was cool just that, you know, it wasn't even that. I was chasing her down like, hey, could you get my card? Like, she was asking for my card and my information to reach out to me and it was cool, too, because that was one of the goals that I had set out before we came out here was to just, like, give my card to somebody. And because I'm not necessarily always the most social person. Um, so that was cool that she did that. And so, yeah. So yeah. knocking out multiple goals at once. <laughs> And I thought it was interesting in her asking you, well, she talked to you about your clothes. And you said something to her that I, I didn't even... I don't know if people are going to pay attention to move that on your head. I think it will, man. It's like, a, it's like an additive. However, she said something to you about what you were wearing and how you looked. And I thought it was cool and interesting in your response to your yellow pants. Yes. So, so I have on my yellow when I was designing my shirt. I went with... A very loud yellow and I have on very loud yellow pants um and the reason is because my dad um shut up yeah I love you daddy we love you, um, basically like he wore like super loud lime green like crazy stupid loud and he said that he was going to be bright and he was going to bring light into people's lives even if he didn't get a chance to talk to them and so I was thinking about colors and initially I was thinking gold but then I said no I'm going to go outrageously bright yellow in honor of my father because he wanted to be bright and be a light even if he didn't get to talk to people and I want to be bright and I want to be a light. Even if I don't get to talk to you, you're going to see me. I'm going to be bright. Help. They couldn't help but notice. <laughs> yeah, they were like, and people were like, oh, I like your yellow pants. Oh, that's bright. And it's crazy because I normally wear like all black all the time. And so for me to wear like a really bright yellow like this is super not what I would normally do, but um, I'm glad that I did bright yellow. Woo. Um, so I'm glad that I did, and it's a way for me to honor my father in doing what I believe I'm called to do, and that was something that he was big on vision and living out what God has called you to do, and so I just feel like it's a way for me to continue to honor him and his legacy and who he is. Yes, we love you, sir. Your legacy continues to live on. So that is a wrap up of day one of the film festival. Day two of us being here in Vegas. And we're excited to see what's to come for tomorrow. And it'll be day two of the film festival. And of course, we will keep you abreast. We'll keep you in the knowledge of what we're doing while we're out here. So if you haven't already done so, please like, please subscribe to this channel. Please comment, you know, whatever it is. Maybe you want to see Vegas or want to see something in Vegas while we're here. We can take the time to show it to you. So just let us know if you comment by the time we're still here. We can do it. But if not, we love you all. Here's the car again. Peace to you all. I don't know how else to end it.